Yeah, you remember this from last time. Aha, uh -huh. that interesting game, it ended like this. White was suffering from... Hey, Jan, sorry, I'm running a... Oh, hi, Greg, you're around. Uh, I thought I you were running this. I'm running another event. I forgot I was even logged in. But I hope everything goes okay. All right, no problem. Right. Less people today. I don't know, should I wait, Greg, or should I just start? Start in a minute or two. Okay, because today it's actually much less people around than usually. I don't know what. Um, maybe some okay. some other event in the U.S. Uh, maybe school just started. Oh, maybe school just started. Oh, yeah. yeah, good, good point. People are actually going to school now because of COVID. Uh, I have to run though. I'll talk. To okay, you okay. Bye, bye, Greg. Have fun. All right, so let's get uh, going, uh, guys. Uh, today's subject uh, we will continue with the subject of last time. This is what I call gambit play. We were checking two different situations. We were saying that sometimes we have openings which are gambits by definition, such as the, the Budapest gambit or the, the Benko gambit or whatever gambit. We, have, we had some like pseudo gambits, like the Queen's gambit, which weren't that much gambits after all, because uh, very quickly you will get back to pawn. And then we also saw some cases where you could have material equality, but you would gambit a pawn in order to seize the initiative, for example. So some kind of, uh, how can I say, creative gambits. So let's uh, start with some situations related to gambit play. Let's see if I can bring up the next example. We should have today names also, titles, titles of the players. That's a new, very nice feature here in, in Chessable. So I think here you can actually see for the first time who is playing. So this will be our warm up, guys. Let's see here. I'll ask you for the moves. We are playing with the white pieces. I want to see how you can get a big advantage with, uh, with white here. So let's see if we can get this going. Let's see if this works out. Well, all right, two minutes. Let's do it. Take your time, guys, take your time. Yeah, don't do it that quickly. All right, take your time. Maybe you want more than just to get back to pawn. What do you think? Maybe you can go for more. So white is playing some kind of uh, Catalan. They gave up the C4 pawn, which is a typical pattern in this opening. And the question is, how can they convert their initiative into something more? And most people have found a way in which white can get back the pawn. But I'm asking myself, is that really the best you can get here? All right, so time's up and nobody produces the, the right answer. Perhaps you remember what uh, Taras uh, used to say. Once you see a good move, sit on your hands, you might find an even better move. All right? So I think that's what happened here. A lot of people are telling me that why I should play here knight xc6. I understand the point, of course. I'll have to take back and you can take on d5. Probably you'll take with a, with a knight here. All right? Black would have to somehow secure their position, maybe something like bishop b7. I think that white is better, but... I'm pretty sure there is something even better for white, better than this. So what do you think? Should we do it again? Some people are new here. Super Puzzler, HDI Chess. Should I add these people to the, to the classroom? I'll do that, okay? I, let's hope Greg doesn't mind. So I'll add these people to the, access, to, to the room. I'll add this person as well. Okay, HD, HD1 in Henry Ding. Okay, Henry, nice to, to see you. All right. So, uh, how to continue from here? I'm not really satisfied with the solution, okay? I'll re-quiz. I'll do another quiz on the same position. Now, please concentrate and try to find the best way in which white can actually get something more than just a pawn. All right? 
So I'll play out a long variation to see if you can get the whole variation right, taking advantage of this very nice chessable platform. All right, here we go. So don't take on c6. Whatever you do, don't take on c6. I told you that's not the best you can get here, okay? And remember my hint? Look at the whole board, please. All right, interesting move by Kwaki and uh, Adi Chess. Maybe I can play g6 there. Or you're going to sacrifice on g6? Okay, L008, you got it. I'm very happy we have a winner here. I'm relieved. That's nice. Good work. All right. I see the point here, Eric. Every, uh, Chess Ryo, I also see the point. Maybe I'll just give back the pawn, you know. Maybe I'll play just knight f6 there. Yeah, I'll give back the pawn. After all, like we discussed last time, oh, once you... I, Sorry? I, the chat is blocked during the quiz. Yeah, you cannot chat during the quiz. Uh, oh, that's bad, you mean. We have to talk to the chessable guys. So the chat is not enabled during the quiz. Okay, I see. No, that's good, because otherwise people can cheat by telling the answer. Oh, good point. Good. I didn't think of that. Yeah, excellent point. That's, it's probably, that's the reason why they locked the chat. Okay. Yeah. Very clever indeed. So a lot of people want to play bishop e4. I'm considering to play knight f6 there. I, like we discussed last time, when you're a pawn up, uh, when you face a gambit, you can very often give back the pawn. That's a good idea in some occasions at least. Okay, we have some people who are very close also. So Sabham, you were very close. I like that second move. Yeah, that should be a very good move also. You would win the exchange, right, uh, Sabham, if you play like that. And Aditya, interesting move. Queen f5. All right. So time's up. I guess we have to listen to L008 on this one. So please go ahead, uh, L. How to win this game with white? So uh, we go knight takes d5. And after c takes, so since the queen's the only thing protecting d5, we can go bishop to a5. Exactly. Very nice. So, um, I mean, queen d6 wouldn't make sense, right? Yeah, I think maybe we can go like bishop b4. Of course, yeah, bishop b4, and you, uh, you can go ahead. Yeah, you lose even worse. I know tactical magician. I just want to show all the variations so that everybody understands. If I now try to defend here, my queen is overloaded, right? Yeah. So I guess you can take advantage of this somehow. Aha. Uh -huh. Nothing like that. I think this will end up very badly for, for black. Aha. Uh -huh. I have to play bishop b7. So what happens then? I guess you get you win at uh, least a few pawns, right? Maybe we can go queen e4. Aha, uh -huh, definitely. Yeah, I, I guess I have to take. I'm just trying to survive here. But I can see that I will end up uh, uh, losing a lot of material here. At least two pawns, right? Yeah, and exactly. And you pick up the pawn. That's, that looks very nice for white. So in the game, instead, after bishop a5, they played queen takes a5. Aha, yeah, good point, tactical magician. Knight a6, queen takes b5. Aha. All right, please continue, L. Bishop takes. And here it's already clear that white will get back the material um, with interest. So I just made a feeble try here to save black. I played knight d7. And uh, yeah, how was your variation, L008? How was or did you continue? I took, so now both rooks are under attack. Aha. No, it's not bad, uh, Sabham. It's not bad. I'm just showing the main variation here. So this is good. If we can see all this from the very beginning, it's great. Please continue, L, to finish off this variation. Uh, I took here. Exactly. And unfortunately, black, they would have to just take back on, on f8 and play with a minus exchange because I cannot take like this pretending to up the night because yeah the phone is hanging you get it. nice so i mean yeah great work uh, thanks uh, l008 of course you're right uh, somehow your move is also perfectly fine uh knight c6 i mean i guess if black is playing this position uh they would have to play something like queen i don't know should i put my queen on c7 let's say on queen seven so you can play something like like this and it must also be a huge uh, advantage for 
for white, right? You're the exchange up, and uh, yeah. I mean, my only try, I was thinking maybe I could somehow profit from the long diagonal at some point. Uh, if pawn was on g6, this fails. Oh, yeah, right. I mean, the good point, uh, Robo. If you play it in, at loop one, interesting. I didn't think about that. If you play bishop e4 at, at once, like some people are saying, if I play g6, you play knight takes, pawn takes. Do you think it fails now? Maybe you're right. Yeah, I don't know. Interesting. I mean, you, you could, of course, take on a8, but then I take on e5. So, wow. Very good, nice discovery. As all of you can see, now that the pawn is on g6, uh, I can actually play like this with black. And I guess I'm getting back the material. But knight c6. But you play knight c6. All right. You can play knight c6. Yeah, but then we have that situation that, that we were discussing. Anyway, uh, yeah, of course, it still works like this. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure you're right. This must be clear. Clear white advantage, right? Clear white advantage. Uh, I'll, I'll never move my knight. I'll protect it with the rook so that... I deny the black queen of c square. Yeah, this would be a huge advantage for white. But anyway, with black, what I would play here, like we were discussing, I would probably play knight f6. So, I mean, please remember the pattern. Feel free to give back material whenever you feel it's needed. So, I mean, now white, if they like, they can take. I guess I'll take back. Bishop takes, and I put my rook on, I don't know, on c8 or on b8. Both look nice. Maybe rook b8. Yeah, why not? Yeah, this looks... Perfectly fine for black, I think. Um, white doesn't have so much tactics going on, and maybe at some point I'm able to swap off that bishop. I don't know. Uh, okay, you can also take with a bishop, you might claim, but then uh, you're missing that bishop later on, right? I mean, if I take, I put my queen somewhere, queen c7, maybe. Uh, here I would imagine that black is better, actually. After bishop b7, I, do, I wouldn't like to play this with white, but okay, I'm not an expert on on the cattle in any case. So, summing up, we have to play like uh, L explained to us: bishop takes, pawn takes, and bishop a5. That's the way to go here. Suddenly, it turns out that the black queen has no uh, way to keep defending the pawn because, yeah, if queen d6, there is bishop b4. So nice, nice way of uh, taking advantage of this uh, great activity that. White has gained in this uh, kind of uh, Catalan gambit uh, position. So let me show you another example. Let's let's see from an e4 opening. Let's see this example from the Karo Khan. And uh, here we will come across the other situation. We will have a look at the position where we are not a pawn down, but we will use the gambit idea. All right. So this is not very difficult. I think I should not give you too much time on this one. Uh, you're playing here with white pieces, and I think it will be enough with one minute, uh, one minute thirty to find the best way to continue here with the white pieces. So, why to play and get a huge advantage? Okay, okay, Ryo, uh, not bad, not bad. Your solution, Eric, not yeah, bad at all. That, that's, I, that's fine, sorry? right? I mean, the move I played is fine, right? Yeah, but there is a better one, believe me. The Grandmaster played something else in the game. But uh, it's okay, yeah. I mean, look carefully uh, about the dis destiny of that bishop. Look carefully, you'll see. I'm sorry, Tactical Magician. Um, oh, I see it. I see it now. <laughs> okay. That's not really related, uh, the Tactical Magician. It's not really related to the to the position. I'm, I'm sorry. I can probably play here something like Bishop D7, right? We can look at that later on, no problem. Okay, so Chess Ryo, Eric, Subham, Troy Boy, Quoki. I get the point. I mean, it's it's very logical what you're saying, just that there is something even better. Okay, I can see some people are saying here the move 95. Okay, interesting. Uh, HD1 Chess, you're playing like Stockfish. Uh, <laughs> you actually you chose the move played by, by Stockfish, but the Grandmaster didn't play like that. But your move is even better. Awesome, Owen, you were very close. So, let's listen to somebody here. Okay, Adi Chess, you also got a very good solution. So, many of you got to move three. And I, it would be great to listen to HDI, H Henry, no? Okay, Henry, please go ahead. What do you play with right here? E6. Aha, E6. I cannot take with the bishop, of course. And... Of course, yeah. So you're profiting from the from the pin here. Yeah. So I have to take 
in the game they, they took with the phone. Okay, please continue. Thank you. Aha. We will look at the other options uh, later, okay? Let's uh, check the main line first. So, uh, one question for you, Henry. What about this bishop? Which is the best destiny for this bishop? What do you think? G5. Exactly. The bishop, it looks fantastic on the long diagonal, but it's even better on that diagonal. Aha. So, what do you play with white? I play knight g4. Aha. You're right. That's, that's probably the best move here. It's the most powerful move. So, if pawn takes bishop g5, and I think it's just over here. I mean, uh, what could I play with with, with black? Um, let me try something, just so that you refute, refute me. Let's say queen d3. I just tried to swap queens desperately. Uh, how would you finish off uh, white here, uh, black here? What do you think? It smells like mate, right? Somehow mate, okay. So where is that mate? Remember to look at the whole board. If we look at the whole board, which move uh, do we come across? I think. Or maybe you can find something better. Yeah, L008. I think so too. Exactly. Queen e A4 is, too, is very strong here. Yeah, please don't play for beauty, no, because I'm, I'm protecting the square. Aha. So Queen A4, that's it. Nice. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, thanks. Uh, great work by Henry. In the game, the Iranian Grandmaster played here the move knight b3 and that's just fine also that's how the game went castles and bishop g5 and white uh, yeah white is already completely winning because there is no way we can really save this knight i mean we can defend it yeah if we go like this they will play knight e5 and if we defend it like that i guess from all the moves that white could play just one very simple way would be to, to double the rooks because uh, yeah they cannot really unpin here i think or queen e2 yeah queen e2 also of course king f8 and maybe you can put the knight E5 or something like that. Yeah, many, many good moves in this position. So uh, that's basically the solution. All right, now let's have a look at uh, the other options here. So please notice my idea, I mean, or White's idea here. We're giving away this pawn because it will help us a lot just before they are cast off. You can see that this is the Karokan advanced variation, E5 and black plate C5. That's how you get into this stuff. All, all right, let's have a quick look at your other moves here. Some people were saying, Bishop e5 check, but that I can always uh, I can always answer here, bishop d7 and yeah I mean you can play something like e6 but I don't know if I can take it or, or I can perhaps just take back uh, yeah this is not so clear so the bishop is should stay here right some people are saying e6 and then give check I think it's the same story I can just play here bishop d7 I don't see why this would be so bad for for black I guess I can play something like queen queen d6 or queen yeah, I don't know. Here, maybe. I'm about to cast on here. So, can white play rook takes e6, bishop takes f5? You know, I, I have information for you here. Uh, or set... Uh, I think I can play here instead of entering this. I think I have a nice uh, way to play here. Uh, I think I noticed this, that you can play this move. It looks crazy to cast on here, but I think it's actually rather convincing. And please notice that there is some kind of pattern against the uh, f-pawn also. So those of you who play the French defense, you remember this with black. Sometimes you can launch some kind of counterattack against the pawn on f2. So I don't really trust this, to be honest. Uh, I think black is very happy to castle as soon as possible. And the same goes for knight g5. Yeah, I mean, here we have the same situation that we were discussing last time. Black is a pawn up. However, they are faced with a strong attack from white. And I think it makes sense to just give away the pawn. The smartest way to give away the pawn? Yeah, castling, right? And I don't even think white can take the pawn. I mean, what happens here if white takes the pawn? Anyone, what would you play with the black pieces here? Yeah, many choices, no? Many choices. Yeah, bishop takes f2 looks like a good option, no? Then knight e4. Maybe you can also play knight e4 immediately. I don't know if this, this also looks promising for, for black. Uh, yeah, so it is also wins. So simply, this is not the right way to go. I mean, I can think of other situations where this would be a good idea, but not exactly here. So here it's clear that what white should do is uh, just to take on f5. So also, please notice, in which opening will you come across this kind of pawn structure? Horrible. You leave a lot of weak spots on the door square. So it's clear that white has something to work on. 
And in the game, White simply played knight b3, followed by bishop d5, and it's basically over. But uh, okay, knight c4 is even so. Okay, that's Stonewall. Yeah, sure. But not like this. In the that Stonewall, when did he open up the e file? That's not uh, typical in the that Stonewall. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're right. It's like some kind of Stonewall structure. Aha, but h5, it, yeah, I mean, this makes a weird uh, impression. So please notice that we have to take the opportunity here. It's now or never. You give them one more move, you play some lazy move like bishop b2, they can probably castle here. And I think black should be okay here. Bishop b6, rook c8. Looks normal to me. Uh, and you're even helped by having played h5, right? You don't have to worry about g4. e6 first, says Rayo. How e6 first? Oh, I'm, I'm losing, I'm dropping some pieces, right? I don't understand. Yeah, you're speaking about the solution, right? This is the way to go. I'm just saying you have to do this. On move three. How is that? E6 takes bishop f5, e5, bishop e2. Yeah, okay. You play bishop e2, I guess I have to castle. Queen c3. Okay, now the same story. We, we're, we're back in the same story all the time. Give back material, <laughs> give back. Okay, please continue, right? And knight e4? Yeah, okay, but isn't this much better than the game? Let's see here. I guess Riot, he's not going to take, he's going to give check to keep the queens on the board, right? Yeah. So, right, so I, I guess I should play like this instead, 95. This piece was. In, oh, queen d5 says Pikachu, but how can you play queen? Oh, I understand, I understand. Yeah, good point by Pikachu that you can play queen d5. I see, I see, I see too. Yeah, I mean, swapping queens is heaven for black, I think. Compared to other things that could happen. Well, it's still terrible for black. It's still terrible for black? Yeah, the position is still terrible. Yeah, but everything is relative. What do you want to play? Or do you want no, to wait. After, after queen d5, you can just take um, e7, right? Take queen e7? Okay, take queen c4. Yeah, but... Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, but I mean, this is... It cannot be that bad, can it? Yeah, let's play... Let's say I play something like... I don't know, b6 maybe, or rook f7. Uh, F4, I don't know. Which move should I play here? I mean, it's an open, it's an open position. So the knights are the bishop is not so bad. Uh, let's see here. Okay, you want to look at this? No problem. Uh, should I play? If yeah, this is what my yeah, white is better, of course. But yeah, rook c1 maybe to come to to c7. Uh, oh, did I actually mess it up already? Oh, it seems like I made a bad mistake here, right? What should I play? Rook f7. Yeah, I guess white is better. I, I just didn't want to let them play f4 uh, myself. But uh, I mean, let's see here. Is, is, this, is this too crazy? If I play f4, you play rook c1, I play bishop f5. Can I give away my pawns like that? Or I can't. I was thinking of something like this. Is, is this too crazy? Yeah, white should be better. OK, I, I agree. White, white is better, of course. Uh, but still. Yeah, White will probably win in a practical game. But I'm not so sure about the other move, 95. We were talking about this also. Um, is this so bad? The queen, you can go here, but maybe I can play before. I mean, after all, I have the bishop part. Please don't uh, look down on the bishop part. Queen b3, maybe. Yeah, now I probably I have to uh, move away the king, right? To avoid any uh, bad surprises. King h7. Yeah, it looks very shaky for, for, for black. I, I agree. Yeah, but the real solution is much better. Of course, the real solution wins uh, on the spot. While here, we still have to work work on this. Yeah, probably we should indeed go for the... Yeah, I mean, we should go for this center. Probably. Yeah, this is probably the, the best choice. But okay, white is, of course, better. What do you think, guys? We should perhaps move on. So let's put one more uh, example, and then I would like to show you a complete game. So here is my third uh, short uh, example, and then we will have a look at, at our main game today. So this is an older game. White played here the Moscow Sicilian with bishop e5 check after bishop d7. They played bishop takes, queen takes, and c4. Yeah, this is, of course, all very theoretical. In this position, if I'm not mistaken, uh, you usually play with Fianchetto, maybe knight c6, and later on g6. However, in this game, black played what you know is probably not a good idea. They played here queen g4. All right, we are now faced with a double threat. Uh, what to do about that? Well, in the game, I was trying to mute everyone. Okay, so in the game, white castle and black took the pawn. All right, it's uh, okay, g6 is main. Okay, thanks, Rome. 
So now it's white to play. I'll ask you for the best continuation with the white pieces here. Let's see, I have to choose the variation. Which variation do I like to have as a main variation? I think I should choose this one, right? Yeah, th this makes a lot of sense. So we will try to find the little variation here, basically white to play and win. Okay, I'll give you two minutes. Please take your time, okay? White, basically winning here, but you have to play your cards right, okay? Okay, Eric, I'd play knight a6 against your move. I did chess, I'll definitely take on c3. HDI chess, I guess I'll play knight, knight c6. Can I do that? Or you have something prepared? What else? Little Grandmaster, okay, you know what I will play. <laughs> uh, Ryo, what happened with Ryo? Uh, all right, in that case, Ryo, I guess I'd have to play king, king d8. Can I play that? Okay, we'll come back to you, Ryo. We'll come back. Uh, Ryo and Subham, they have a very interesting variation here. I understand perfectly what you're after. But I guess I can play king d8 and I might be alive. No? Okay, we'll see. We'll see. All right, so nobody got the solution? No. Really? But somebody got the first move. Yeah, it says Ryo and Subham, you got the first move. All right. Um, what else? Mega Charles Rex, I'll play Knight A6 there. Okay. Aditya, Tactical Magician, I'll play Queen D7, probably. Queen D7. All right. So, bad. Yeah, we'll look into it. Don't, don't worry, Tactical Magician. We'll look into it. We'll look at move by move here. So, some people are saying knight takes e4. I mean, this is probably uh, not the right idea. I mean, we should, of, of course, understand that this tension should favor white in any tactical context, right? So, if you take here, you really need to have something very good prepared. Okay, I'm not forced to take the second pawn. Maybe, I don't know, maybe I can even put my queen here. Is, is that possible? Well, I don't know. Or maybe I can just go, go home with the queen. Yeah, I mean... Where, where would I put the queen? Maybe I can even go back to g4 to, to bother you a little. If you play h3, yeah, definitely. Home, sweet home. So this is not the right way to go, I'm afraid. Uh, please notice this tension will favor us in other situations. So some people were saying here, queen a4 check. All right. In this case, I'll play knight c6. Please notice that I'm still having this move. I mean, if you play something like h3, I can play knight c 3 so that I attack your queen at the same time, right? So I don't believe in queen uh, a4, unless somebody would like to continue the variation. Uh, that's uh, perfectly fine. Okay. Aditya, tactical magician, you say knight d5. All right. So I was thinking here that I should just play queen d7. So tactical magician was saying rook e1. And I'm thinking that I should play knight f6. All right. Knight takes, you say? Yeah, I understand you, you're going to play d4. I understand, of course. That's the right way to go. But, I mean, everything is relative. Let's say I, I don't take. Let's say I play knight c6 instead. So how big is white's advantage here? Um, or if there is an advantage? I, I don't see this clearly. Maybe I could even castle long. I can use the, the g5 from a rook. I don't think this is so promising. No. It's uh, typical in the Sicilian, Moscow, and Rosolimo variations to give away a pawn like that. But here it doesn't convince me too much. So, uh, what else? Knight b5, says Eric and Mega Charles Rex. So, if knight b5, I was going to play simply queen d7 because now you're not attacking my knight anymore. So, if rook e1, I can go knight f6. And uh, yeah, I mean, you can try some funny tactic like this and try to take on d6, but I'll just play knight c6. I don't see what's wrong with this. Uh, oh, sorry, Eric, you want to continue? Please. You want to play d4, maybe, to play bishop f4, something like that. Maybe you can play that. Maybe, actually, you have some, some dangerous initiative here. I mean, let's see, how can I defend here? I'll take first, and if you play bishop f4, I guess I'll play just e6, right? Or you, or you have some c5. Well, at least we're speaking gambit play here, right? You have to take the moment, seize the moment, to try to create difficulties for your opponent. Yeah, maybe this looks... This looks nice. Oh, there is no trick with knight takes d6, says 
Robo. But now there is indeed a trick like that, isn't there? Oh, you, you mean I, um, I have to play e5? Can I play e5? Maybe. Maybe. Well, I guess I'm inviting you to take on e5 somehow. But, but does this really work? I, I'm not convinced. No, I'm not convinced. You will take like that? Oh, I meant comparing the knight on c6 and a6. Yeah. Right. I don't know what's going on here, honestly. Maybe this oh, is good for white. After bishop f4, king d8. After bishop f4, king d8? Yeah. All right. So now, no issues on the on the e file. But OK, uh, the king will stay forever in the center. What does that mean? Uh, well, probably this queen should. OK, I have this move also No, at, at, at some occasion, but not now. You have e5, I guess. Yeah, maybe you're right. Yeah, interesting. King d8, maybe that's the best move, and just e5, no matter what happens. Um, could I play something like bishop d5? Is, is, this, is this silly? Some kind of prophylactics again. Or c5. c5 also. What what's uh, what's your plan here, Ryo? You gonna take that part also? Not so clear. Probably. Or maybe you can. Probably. Probably. <laughs> yeah, probably you can. Yeah, maybe I'm, I'm exaggerating here. I kind of like White's position, but uh, perhaps there is nothing, nothing going on here really. Well, I would be a little scared with Black, but okay, I cannot see exactly. Maybe 95, good trade for White, like this. I'm leaving the key, the king. So I'm to oh, you have a six, but okay, careful with queen a five though. King c eight. Wow, but, but this guy is. I would like to attack that pawn. Rook c one maybe. What do you think? Is this mayhem? Oh, there's some comments here. Sorry, Troy Boy says 94. When is that 94? Oh, we have a lot of comments. I'm, I'm afraid I won't be able to catch up with all the comments. So, when when are you going to take on the 4, Troy Boy? I think he means after King C8. Oh, we're that far. I see. But how can you take on D4? I don't follow. After King C8. Oh, here. Okay, nice, nice. I understand. To, to open up the Sifa. Good point. Yeah, I mean, of course. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I think black is in huge trouble here. It's just a pawn. Well, I was say, going to say it's just a pawn. It's two pawns. Yeah, but then just like I six, I six, I don't know. Uh, please uh, elaborate on that, Eric. I don't follow your comment, really. How about rook 81 in the beginning? I have no idea. Maybe you can play more Classical fashion with rook AD1. Yeah, possibly. Yeah, so it's bottom line, black is suffering here. So let's see if we can fix this somehow. Knight b5. I don't want to put my knight here. Definitely, I don't want to put it there. Here, I think queen a4 is already becoming uh, more interesting. So, yeah, I would love to play knight uh, c6, of course, uh, at some point. But first, queen d1. So let's, let's look again like this. Maybe you're right after all. Yeah, maybe white has a strong initiative. It, it's it's possible, of course. But I can tell you that in the other variation, you win the game. Um, just one question here. If I play a6, oh, but then you play queen a4, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm just it's like a like a self goal here. I'm dead lost after, after queen a4. Yeah, don't play a6, of course. Okay. So what else? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Probably this is no rookie one is not the solution, uh, Eric. No, but this looks very promising. Yeah, this looks very promising. I mean, we looked at this. We looked at d4. Just one last look at this at this precise position. So we took on d4. We cannot take with the knight because they'll play knight c7, right? There is no chance I can kind of um, trap that knight in the end, can I? No, I mean, take it with the knight and knight king d8 and queen takes, king takes. What do you think? Is this is this crazy? Oh, you have knight d6. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, I cannot play like that. All right. So C takes D4, Bishop F4, that's what we were looking at. And it appears as if black is in huge struggle here. Uh, Ryo tried this move, King D8. Yeah. I wanted to play E5. I mean, if E5 works, black should be winning, right? Let's check Rook A1 after King D8. But let's check e E5 first. So how are you going to take with the Bishop? Is this just... Oh, you have even C5. Yeah, nightmare. Nightmare for black. Yeah, of course. Nightmare. So uh, maybe this is also very very bad for for black. Yeah, very 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 bad for black. Maybe I should I shouldn't take them. I should play something else. But what to play? Yeah, no no. I, I have to take. So bottom line, this is very troublesome for 
for black, it looks uh, perfectly fine for, for white. So half a point if you like. C takes D4, C5 straight away. It, it seems this move C5 is indeed very useful for, for white in most of cases. So knight B5, uh, I mean, I know there is a better move, but okay. Um, maybe I should play knight A6 then, but I, di I didn't want to do that. Queen A4. Is there some benefit of having the... I mean, one benefit would be that... No, no, there is no benefit because here rookie one and knight takes d6. No benefit at all. Yeah, this is horrible. Yeah, yeah. And if I give away like this, I just castle away. You take... I'm, I'm lost here. Knight c6 maybe. Well, looks scary. But okay, you have some underdeveloped pieces also. Uh, I don't know. How, how relevant is this? Maybe completely irrelevant. White is... Probably very well off in this position, yeah. Instead of knight a6, king d7, says Robo. King d7, that's an amazing move. No, you cannot play king d7 here. Even my grandmother would find this move, knight e5 check. So that's not possible. Um, yeah, I guess this is hard for, for black to defend. So knight b5 looks very promising. Okay, you can get half a point from that, Eric, and mega short strikes. Let's continue. Adi chess h3. I'm sorry, Adi chess. This is not a good idea because you let me swap the knight on c3. One problem less uh, for black. And then we arrive at the right move. So, oh, L008, you were very close then. Oh, I can see now. You were very, very close. Aha. Oh, I see. Uh, so, most people found the right move here. I mean, s several people found the right move. Like, for example, uh, Troy Boy. So how, how is your solution, Troy Boy? Let's listen to Troy Boy on this one. Which move do you think is the best one? Exactly. Queen B3. Very good move. In this way, we're attacking, I would say, Black's weakest spot. Please remember that uh, in some openings, typically when the bishop has left the house, uh, we can attack on the queen side. Don't think that you have to attack on E5 and so on. So this is the best move for, for white, queen, queen, b3. I cannot take, of course, uh, troy one, right? I cannot take on on uh, c3, just for the record. Just so that everybody understands. Yeah, this is not working for black, but it's important to see these little details exactly when you work on your variations. Because else it, it, this would just fail for, for white, right? So queen, b3 was played in the game. Black had to play here b6. I mean, we can see here clearly that the tension favors white because the queen cannot go back, then the knight is lost. So b6 was played in the game. And I think you got to the right move, no? Uh, Troy Boy. Yeah. So, please continue. Oh, I spent about one third, so I rushed at him. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Uh, one nice feature about this uh, game is that depending on where the black queen goes, we will play different moves. Right? So, let's go step by step. Queen e6, uh, not a good idea, right, uh, Troy Boy? Yeah, exactly. Queen f5 leaves the queen undefended. So what would white play then? Ta taking into account that the queen is undefended, what should we play? Aha, you're right, Troy Boy. You don't have the... No, you have the pawn. You can play out the moves if you like. You can play them out. Aha, at first sight, it appears as if black has a smart tactic, but uh, they don't because white has an intermediate move. Exactly. And then you just pick up the knight next turn. So black's most, uh, how can I say, tenacious choice here would be queen g6. And here, unfortunately, you failed uh, Troy Boy on this one. So let's uh, ask somebody else. Uh, L008 was the closest one. So L, uh, you can uh, take it from here. All right. Uh, go ahead. Uh, so, I think it was my h4. Sure. Please go ahead. You can, you can play out the moves. Okay, so now I have to uh, say good. We just saw this idea with rookie one. I have to create a counterattack. So I play here queen of six, I think. Uh, now it takes, so... Uh, uh -huh. Queen oh, so here, I understand what happened here. I, yeah, your, your move is fine. Uh, your move is fine. Okay. Um, you played knight takes the six, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's okay also. That's okay. I, I guess it's it's basically the same thing. Yeah, this yeah. should also be winning. I mean, I could play, I guess, if I want to continue the game, I would have to play something like this, right? But, I mean, it's it's technically winning for white. It's technically winning. 
But even stronger is the other way around, right? I guess. Or what do you think? Exactly. Because now I cannot like play bishop e7 here. So I lose the tempo, basically. I don't have any reasonable move here. With, with like, uh, I mean, I could play d5, but it's it's still uh, very bad for, for black, I guess. Uh, or what do you think? 96. Oh, that's a nice tactic. Wow, I, I didn't see that one, actually. Aha. But you're right. Yeah, this, this no, is... Really but this would be the same because bishop e7 and then just castles. Oh, it's the same. Oh, I see. Yeah, right. Good point. No, I, I think what you can play, I mean, we shouldn't be too materialistic. Uh, we should look at black's king in the center, so... I think the move is, is pretty obvious. Or, well, I'll listen to you guys. But this must be very obvious. What do you think? Anyway. Why not rook e1? Oh, right now, rook e1. That's kind of cool. Oh, I see. So it takes, you take, and... But is this properly calculated? Or I don't think so, no. Rook e4, and I have queen c6, right? So, no, I think that's not necessary. Sometimes we don't need that, those flashy tactics, I think. Knight uh, 3 was proposed also. Yeah, that looks natural. Um, yeah, that, that must be a good move. I thought of simply taking. I don't know. I like this pawn on d5. I like it. I can use it to play d6. I'm somehow hampering their development. I have some idea with g3 also. I was looking at the black queen. I could see some tactics there. If queen takes, maybe knight e5, things like that. Does knight take c5 work? Oh, I see the same idea. Yeah, I guess I'll play queen takes c4 then, uh, Eric. And I'll try to get this move in somehow. If you move the knight. But I think it's it's fine to play uh, e takes c5 here. Or knight c3, like you're saying. So, but that's basically the solution. So if we go back to the very beginning, uh, okay, not that far, but yeah, we had this variation. Don't go for this kind of pawns, please. Don't do it. It's not uh, worth it simply. So here, actually, White is winning with uh, with Queen B3, like we were discussing, and, and we saw this whole very nice uh, tactical trick. We have here Knight H4, and and yeah, taking on F3. So, so maybe we should have a look now at uh, our main game, which is uh, Karo Khan, which was played. Recently, it was a game played this year in an open tournament in Latvia. All right. Let's see if we can bring up this game. It's a very, very entertaining game. Uh, it's a short game, but very entertaining. Let's see if I can get... Yeah, so with the white pieces, we have Ivic, uh, young uh, grandmaster from Serbia, I think, and uh, playing black. Uh, oh, not so easy to pronounce. Put Putinevicius from uh, Lithuania. So this is a, uh, yeah, from Lithuania, exactly. Uh, so this is a um, Karo Khan. Uh, you can still move the pieces. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll revoke that then. Okay, you will move the pieces again, definitely. So in this game, uh, let me tell you from the very beginning that this game will only last uh, 20 moves. It ended in 20 moves. White won in 20 moves. All right? And the interesting thing about this game, I mean, there are many interesting things about it, but one thing I like about this game is that white uncorked a novelty on move six. And this is not so common, that you can play a novelty at move six. So uh, let's see. F3, D takes E4. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is a very enterprising variation for white against uh, Karo Khan. I would recommend it to anybody who likes uh, active chess from the very beginning. Uh, there are many ways to play with black, of course. Some people like to play e6, very solid choice. Sometimes you can play with knight f6, transposing to the French. Sometimes you can play b6 and bishop a6. Uh, there is some idea with queen b6 also. Uh, yeah, you can also play queen b6 straight away. Many ways to, to play here, right? But anyway, uh, let's look into the game. This is the main line, f takes e4, e5. I was always a bit skeptical about this. I think it's some kind of uh, king's gambit uh, situation. White has the f-file. and Yeah, I don't like it, but okay. The best players in the world play this with black, so I guess it's it's not bad, of course. Yeah, simple information here. Pawn takes, don't do it because there is queen h4, so you play knight f3. Uh, simple information, don't take this pawn because white has this killer move. Yeah, I guess if you play this with white, you're well acquainted with this. Very, very dangerous for, for, for black. So uh, there are two moves here. Usually you play here 
like in the game, bishop e6, but you can also play bishop g4. And here, I think what white plays is c3, you build a pawn center. I must say I, I like this uh, variation with white. I, th I think it's very natural to play. Uh, I'm happy about the f-file later on. Anyway, bishop e6 was played in the game. And at this point, um, we have the moment of the novelty. So I don't know if I should ask you for this move. I don't think so. Um, I'll ask you simply, I mean, in the, in the chat, you can just uh, send me a message. What do you think white should play here? Anyway, what do you know about this variation? Oh, you, you found it, Pikachu. So where did you find that move? Pikachu found a move in the game. I can give you the 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 the, the, the pawn. Okay, Pikachu. Where did you find that move? You saw it before? In some game, maybe. Oh yeah. Where where did you see it? Yeah, I mean, to to me this is incredible this move, because there are so many games which have been played where usually white plays the move c3, and then you play, uh, I mean, just for the record, no, we, we shouldn't take this pawn, it's, it's still no, no. poison, this pawn. So you play c3, and uh, black usually plays something like knight 7 and you play bishop d3, and you cast on, and, and so on. But this move is, is very uh, surprising. So knight 2 the idea is revealed when black takes on d4. So what was the idea, Pikachu? Why did you play knight e2? Bishop c4. Exactly. So that's the idea. So now once you see it, it's very easy to understand. White gambits a pawn in order to eliminate this very important defender in black's camp. And there's no real way that black can, can avoid this. So at this point, I think already black makes a mistake. I, I'm not claiming that. Yeah, this is a good exchange for black. Yeah, for white. I'm not claiming that this is uh, advantages for white, but it's hard to meet in practice. I think the best choice here is to play knight e7 with, with black. And by now, you should already consider long castling as an option in the future. So please notice that uh, still this pawn should not be taken. In that case, again, I have the check on h4, right? So don't do that. So after knight e7, we can play here bishop takes, pawn takes, and we can castle long. Uh, sorry, castle short with white. So now it's already a bit critical for black. I had a closer look at this. I think that the best move is probably here e5 in order to, I mean, we lose time, but also we strengthen our center and we're ready to go knight f6 without being bothered by e5 from white. So after knight c4, white is attacking this pawn. Black should protect it. It's already very, very dangerous to play this with black. Queen c7 would run into knight e5 probably. You can see tactics coming up. So probably black should play here queen e7. Okay, black is trying to survive. They want to play castles next move. So anyone, what do you think white should play here? I can uh, ask you for this, of course. We can have a little quiz here. So how do you think white should continue in this very complex position? Well, we'll see. I'll prepare a little uh, variation here. All right, one minute. Which is white's most promising move here? What do you think? Okay, I did chess. I think I can take. I don't see the tactic there, really. Uh, a lot of people want to take there. OK, bishop d5, I can play knight f6. All right. Maybe this was not so easy then. It was not so easy. OK, I understand. All right. Uh, I'm afraid nobody came up with the right idea here. Remember when you're heading material? No time at all. Yeah, very little time to, to think. Okay, I can give you one more minute, okay? I'll give you one more minute. Sure, no problem. I'll give you one more minute. I'll only ask you for uh, the first uh, two moves, okay? Uh, one minute, uh, here we go. All right, this was a difficult one. Uh, we can look uh, at your different uh, at the different ideas here. So, oh, you played the first move of a tactical magician. Okay, great. Sorry. Oh, I can see several people actually got it. Yeah, yeah, nice, nice, uh, nice work. Uh, let's uh, listen to tactical magician then. Please go ahead and uh, explain to the rest what is this about. So, uh, I. 
thought the move was C3. It is. Sure. Uh, it, no one to open the center. Yeah, to open up the game. Yeah, and if I take. Oh, oh you played maybe. queen b3 here, right? Yeah. Yeah, you know, there is only one problem with this move. I mean, it's theoretically, it's a very good idea to attack this pawn, clear the d file, and so on. Six. However, yeah. sorry? No, I mean, I can try to swap, swap queens here, uh, tactical magician. Yeah. I would like to, so I'll play queen b4 here. I'm, I'm convinced this must be black's uh, best choice. Yeah. So, so don't allow that to happen. So I think the best move here, I mean, you can take, of course. Uh, somebody said it. Subham said b takes e3. You can play it, but I guess after queen c5, you have to play knight e3. And probably that was not your idea to uh, retreat the knight. But still, it should be interesting for white. But I think there is a better move here. So if, if this check is so annoying, what do you think, guys? What would you play with white? You can play bishop e3, but then you're committing the bishop. So the bishop, maybe it would like to take on b2. Aha, right. Yeah, Aditya, H, D, chess, and so on, king h1. That's the right move. Interesting, though. Interesting move. Because you're, of course, happy to give away the other pawn. Like, there is some gambit like this, right? You play d4, and you play c3, and you let them take on b2. But this is very, very dangerous for black. It's safe to say. Uh, black is in trouble here, because if they cast along, we have the uh, open files to work on and so on. b4 says tactical magician. Yeah, maybe, maybe b4. A flashy move, but... I mean, if you're castling long, I wanted to open up the the, the beef file. Yeah, maybe. maybe. Maybe you're right. But I think this is even stronger. Because now you have more, more flexibility. So uh, maybe if queen c5, you can play b3, like somebody was saying. And you have some idea with also bishop a3 and bishop e3. So I mean, it's about flexibility also, right? Uh, that's the solution here, the supposed solution. Now, some people are saying knight takes e5, but I, I don't understand how... How you make this work? I don't follow really. Uh, I'm about to castle next turn. And some people were saying bishop d5, but I think this is just helping black to develop their pieces. Uh, what did you say, tactical magician? Queen b4? I don't follow. c3, pawn takes. What do you want to play here? b4. Okay, I'll just take it just to, to see what, what's going on. What's your plan here? I don't follow. Yeah, okay. I'll take everything. I'll take here also. You, you, you want to take here? No, I don't think so. What's the plan? Oh, knight takes e5. I understand. So you have rook takes f8. Funny variation. But bishop c5 must come here, right? I don't think this works, right? And I take on e5 next turn. Or, or did you prepare something here? But no, I mean, material-wise, you're in trouble here, aren't you? Or what you, you want to play queen h5? Okay, I'll play knight f7 or knight g6 which one should be best here i don't know both look fine but i'll i'll go for knight g6 next move knight f6 i don't believe this yeah i think this is it's it's too it's too good to be true yeah it's not worth it <laughs> all right so i just wanted to test you on this one here it's of vital importance to open up the game how can we do that well by c3 all right so if pawn takes i think this is the smartest move but okay there might be other options also Anyway, back to the game, back to the game. In the game, they played after bishop c4, bishop takes c4. Uh, yeah, I mean, once you see the game, it's clear that this was uh, perhaps not a good choice. So knight takes c4, now white is happy because, yeah, the knight is better placed and the bishop can move out and so on. Black played in the game bishop c5. I think that the better choice was here bishop b4, trying to swap pieces. However, after bishop d2, bishop takes d2, Queen takes d2. Only one move would let black fight for equality here. So, what do you think, uh, guys? Which do you think would be black's best move here? It's very surprising. <coughs> but you can't find it with logics. If you like, I can put it as a quiz with the black pieces. How to defend with black here. Both, uh, I mean, most moves uh, look uh, scary for black. But there is one good move here. So uh, please stop uh, fighting in the chat, okay? Let's focus on, on the chess part here. So let me tell you as a hint. I'll, I'll tell you as a hint. If you play here knight f6, white will play e5. This is very dangerous because they're preparing to go knight uh, d6, right? Knight e4 would not be a good idea. Anyone, where do you think the queen would go? 
please stop. Uh, I'll make the chat private if, if you continue this uh, conversation. So Queen B4 says, uh, uh, some people are saying Queen B4. Think carefully, which is the best uh, choice for the Queen? Best square for the Queen? What do you think? There is a nice tactic involved here. Where would you put the Queen? Maybe Queen F4. But if Queen F4, I can play Queen D5, right? I can play Queen D5. Defending, attacking, right? But we can improve this variation. Let's improve this variation, okay? Anyway, where to put the queen? Yeah, okay, Mega Charles Rex, you're very close. Let's listen to Mega Charles Rex. Uh, please go ahead. Where do you put the queen? I would put the queen on me too. Yeah, please go ahead. Please go ahead. Uh, because, uh, so after queen d5, my idea is 96, check. But if you look carefully, you can see that I'm able to swap queens here, which is probably not your highest priority. You, you, yeah, you could do this, but uh, are you sure that you have an advantage? King d7, maybe? Let's, let's look for something better, okay? Let's look for something better. Please notice that you have a trick here, a tactical trick. It doesn't really work because you're, you're in check, right? But what do you think white should play here? You have a killer, killer move here. You win the game instantly. Aha, you, you got it, the tactical magician L008, subham, and so on. Yeah, of course, we cast on long. Nice, because now uh, we have 96 coming up. If takes, takes, queen e6, we can move away the queen. Oh, and also we have rook takes d4, of course. And we have queen takes also. If c5, for example, what do you think? Uh, Mega Charles Rex, what do you think white should play here? Aha, you just take on e4. Exactly. So this should be a big advantage, no? We have this check here and we have take here. I don't think this is really that uh, serious. We'll just pick up the rook. So uh, that's good to understand. Bishop e4 is fine. But here in this position, if you play knight f6, they will play e5. So now that you know that uh, we would like to play knight f6, but e5 is bothering for us, what do you think black should play? This is about defense now. So this is your next mission here. I'll give you uh, 1 minute 15 only. All right? Now that you know that white needs to have e5 in at some occasions, what do you think black should play? Simple logics. I, I see what you mean, Ryo, but in that case, I'll cast along and I'll take the pawn on d4. Okay, hd chess, you got it. Good work. Robo, you got it. L008, you got it. That's the right way to go. The move is difficult to understand unless you have seen this other variation. Aha. Okay, good work. Um, don't play F6, I think. Uh, Guinea Pig, Subham, and Troy Boy. I think if you play F6, uh, the E6 square is, is going to be a concern for you. Maybe I can play E5 anyway. Um, okay, who knows? But maybe castle long simply in that position. Tactical magician f6. Okay, maybe you're right. Yeah, I think you can play that also. But I like the solution provided here by HD IHS, Robo, and L008. So let's uh, listen here to HD chess. Uh, okay, you're on HD chess. What do you play with? Oh, sorry, I, I gave you the wrong pawn. All right, please, uh, please go ahead. What do you play? So b5, it's not an understandable move. Why on earth should we play like this? We should develop our pieces. However, white's only proper destiny for the knight is e5. And now we can play knight f6 and we'll cast them. And I think black will still be okay. This might be the, how can I say, the right response to this whole variation with knight e2. I'm not, I'm not completely convinced, but I think this might be the best way of playing. So that didn't happen in the game. Now, some people were saying 97, but I think that this is still uh, a bit troublesome for, for black disposition. I think white is more active. Rook f1, e5. Uh, well, it's playable, of course, with black. But I think the other variation is, is preferable. Anyway, let's uh, continue. In the game, they didn't play like this. They played bishop c5. All right? So what do you think white played next? I should perhaps only give you one minute for this move. So white's next move? Don't think too much about it. Okay. May I talk? What happened, Robo? You want to talk? Uh, sure, but let's uh, continue with our next move here. 
Don't overdo it, guys. Don't overdo it. Okay, HT, you got it. That's it. Well, if bishop g5, I'll play knight e7 so that I can castle next turn. If c3, it's time to give back the pawn, little grandmaster. I'll play knight f6 though. Um, yeah, so we have some people who got it. Troy boy also got it. Nice. Robo says bishop f4, then I'll play knight e7, Robo. I'll play knight e7 and I'll castle. My main priority here is to castle. Knight e5 says l008. Okay, knight e5 is interesting. Uh -huh, I, I can see what, you, what you're playing for now. Yeah, knight h6 maybe. Ugly move, but maybe I need to overprotect that pawn on f7, right? Okay, so we had a lot of uh, different uh, ideas, but I think uh, Troy Boy, IHD, Chess, Mega Charge X, Pikachu, and Chess Y, you got it. So, uh, good work. Uh, yeah, Pikachu. I got, last, I got out the last second. A last second. Okay, good for you. Pikachu, you can uh, play this move out, okay? What did you find, the Pikachu, in this uh, position? Exactly. So, I mean, this is very natural. We want to cast him. And what Pikachu has understood, of course, is that d3 is nothing to worry about. It's it's like a self-call. It's just hurting black to play like that. Uh, we can just play something like king h1. And I think if they take... What, what do you think, uh, Pikachu? What would you play with white here? I think you have a little combination coming up here, right? Um, I... Yeah, please. Please go ahead. You're winning the game, right? Or, I'm, or am I missing something? Take on the 8 Yeah, of course. You take and you play 95 and it's game over. No way they can stop this. We always have bishop takes. Right. So, yeah. What we have to understand here is that the move... Uh, C, D, how is it? D3 check? It's not really that uh, useful for, for black. Uh, it's just helping white. All right. So let's, uh, yeah, something happened with the game. Let me just uh, bring it over again. Uh, bishop takes, bishop takes, bishop c5. Sorry, knight takes, knight c5. Castles, exactly. So black played here the move queen e7. Why not knight g5, says L008? Well, if knight g5, I'll play like I was saying to you. Knight h6. I'll castle next turn. Any move that lets me castle uh, is probably not a good idea. If you said bishop g5, I'll play knight e7 and I'll castle. If you say bishop f4, I'll also play knight e7 and I'll try to castle. Okay. Queen h5 says, oh, okay, you, you want to continue here, you mean? Queen h5 here? Okay, you can get this bishop at, in some variation. It's, uh, it's on the house. Okay, you can take it. Is, is that what you want? Take the bishop? Yeah, you have knight h7. I understand. I mean, I would be thrilled to play rookie 8 here. I don't know if this works, but let's play this move first, just to see how you react. And then my plan is to take on h7. Um, I don't think this works really, does it? So, please remember when you have this kind of gambit situations, there is some kind of natural flow in the position. And with this flow goes to castle quickly. I mean, check some of the Morphe games. He would castle in every game, right? His king would always be castle, unless he was playing without uh, a rook, perhaps. But else, we should, of course, castle. This is a good moment to castle, because now, please notice here, L008. Now, if I play knight e7, well, what do you think white would play? Easy, right? Easy. Yeah, now we play knight, knight e5. Please notice this thing with flexibility that I'm talking about uh, quite often. Now, the knight cannot go to h6, so we go knight e5, and I think it's game over, because... Yeah, now there are too many threats uh, coming up at the same time. So that's uh, important. No, Castle cannot be wrong here. It cannot be wrong to bring in the rook and so on, clear the e-file. So that should be done at this moment. Let's uh, speed up a little, although the game is very, very entertaining. Uh, they played in the game queen e7. I mean, knight f6. Uh, just noticed that this is not a good idea for black. Okay, but there is a very interesting variation here. Um, anyway, what do you think white should play? Black is about to castle. What should white play? Quickly, quickly, anyone? Yeah, of course, e5, you're right. So e5 is a, is a very clever move, of course. We in space, now we prepare bishop g5 also. But black can play here knight e4, so that they prevent bishop g5, among other things. Knight e5 also is prevented. I mean, if you play like knight e5, I guess knight g5 must be very interesting for white again. Ah, please notice that I'm never bothered, uh, bothered by this check. It's never a problem for white. No reason to play king h1, for example. Not at all. So let's stick to the variation. Knight e4. All right. 
So here the, it's interesting because I thought that White was winning after Queen D3. I thought this was winning just attacking this knight. However, Black can actually survive here. Let's see if you can find a way in which Black can survive. I'll ask you for Black's uh, continuation here very quickly. Let's see if you can find some nice little tactical trick in order to survive. I mean, play in the worst position. But... All right, so 120. Try to save Black here, please. Uh, if you play that, uh, HD, I'll take. And I think you won't survive. Um, you have the right idea, L008, Charles, Hua, and Eric. But I'll take on E5 and I'll play Knight E5. You, you think you can survive there? Queen takes E4, B takes E4, and Knight E5? I don't think you'll survive. But okay, you can prove the opposite if you like. Uh, what else? Oh, this was a difficult one. Oh, I see. Sorry. Just for the record, if you say f5, I'll take on f5, of course. I'll take on f6, I mean, en passant. And I play something like knight g5. That must be crushing. Oh, everybody wants to play b5. Oh, what happened here? <laughs> but okay, maybe you're right and I'm wrong. We'll see, we'll see. But let's wait 20 seconds more for everybody to, to be able to answer. Okay, let's see. A lot of people want to play b5, but uh, you can start thinking about uh, queen takes e4 and knight e5 at this moment. Okay, or z 2018. Oh, just why you got it? Okay, nice, just why you, you're, you're on. Please, okay. go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. B5 um, is interesting, but... Um, I, I think this must be crashing. Yeah. You yeah, attack I here and you cannot. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So the first move is queen d5, which is the most... Oh, sorry. All right. Queen, d5, queen d5 is the most natural move. Um, but, I mean, I originally didn't want it because book e1. But then I just noticed that b5 we can play. Uh -huh. So yeah. now it's, it's, it's not the same thing. I don't want to trade queens, of course. So th this must be the most uh, uh, testing move, right? Yeah, and 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 then I and then at the <laughs> yeah I played that last thing as well. So take, uh -huh. I saw that we can take, and now we just defend the knight, and then probably will take on d4, and he's better. So exactly. He's I mean, no matter what happens here, Ryo, I, I think we can agree that this is Black's uh, best choice. You can still uh, try to survive, no? Uh, it uh, won't be a work in the park, but it's still. Pretty much defendable for, for Black. Castle next turn. And maybe some pawns will hang and so on. But yeah. Um, that's the last chance, I think, for Black in this game. Okay, thanks, uh, Ryu. Great work. So uh, maybe they should have tried this then with, with Black. But okay, it's easy to see this afterwards. Somebody is speaking in the chat. What did you say? Queen d5, rookie 1b5. Yeah, uh, that, that's what Troy, you're right. That's what we're saying. If you play. Uh, straight away b5, I, I'm saying that we'll take with the queen, and yeah, this is the variation that we looked at already. No? So that's why you should probably include here the move queen d5 first, so that if white wants to take on e4, there will be some kind of trade situation here. So yeah, I hope this was not too confusing, but that's how you should play with black here. Now let's check the game. In the game, they played knight f6, right? No, what did they play in the game? I'm losing track of this game. You should see five castles. Queen e7 they played in the game, but that's a bad sign because, yeah, you really wanted to castle quickly, but uh, you play move with the queen instead. All right. Anyone, or should I just... Uh, this move is very natural, so I'll just uh, ask you for one minute here. All right. Can we do that? Sorry, I, I didn't see that comment. Sorry, uh, L008. I didn't see that comment. B5, queen takes e5. B5, queen takes e4, you mean? Oh, queen d5, you said. Okay, we'll look into it. Yeah, sure. Yeah, oh, we'll go back. We'll have a look at that. Okay, Subham, you got it. Nice. Number one on this one, Subham. Knight e5, knight h6, l008. We already talked about this, didn't we? So, Subham, tactical magician. Wow, b4, by the interesting idea by hd and adhs, b4. Yeah, we came across that before, right? B4. I guess I have to take them before. I like your move. I like before. Probably it's a good move also before. Yeah, it looks very pretty. Just don't take the pawn on before. 
So probably you're right, you can play like that. But I think what they played in the game is actually more natural. Okay, please remind me, L008, we will look into your variation uh, very soon. All right, uh, Subham, you're on. What uh, is this about? Okay, Troy Boy, we will look into your variation. Okay, please go ahead, uh, Subham. Uh, I said E5 to like, ah. like, like D6 ideas and, and yeah, stop the night. Like, sure, you're right. I saw like there was a similar variation, it was like D3, King H1. DC2, like something like that. So uh -huh. I thought this just opens up for me. So yeah, it just opens yeah. up, and I mean it's not easy to to play to play with black here. Uh, yeah. you have Bishop G5 coming up. You have some 96. Even if they take, I mean you can take and you bring in the rook and so on. You don't really count the material. You just try to find activity. Okay, thanks. Uh, great to work somehow. So we have to look at a few variations here. Uh, L008 is is asking me. Uh, how was this variation, by the way? We are back in this variation again. Okay, so we are saying, if I remember this correctly, e5, 94, queen d3, b5, queen takes, pawn takes, knight g5, queen d5. That's the proposition from L008. So let's see, can we refute this somehow? Um, queen f5, did, did you check queen f5? I'm threatening perhaps to give this check here, and I'm threatening to take this pawn. Or you, you can play 97 here. Wow, th this would be a fancy variation just to cast it away. Well, that doesn't look that bad for black, does it? Maybe you're right, um, L008. Maybe you're right. Your move is not bad, I think. But uh, yeah, what else could I play? Queen. Should I rather put my queen on g4? No, I don't think so. Yeah, this was a bit confusing. Does it look that bad for black, does it? Yeah, I like your variation. Maybe that's okay for black, though. Knight f7, castles, e6. Okay, but I mean, generally speaking, the trade should favor black, right? Oh, you mean this, this guy is hanging now? Oh, I see what you mean. But okay, I can also move the bishop, and if you take, I'll take here, right? Or maybe. All right, I th I'm pretty sure there is something better for white. I mean, I was just looking at this right now. Maybe there is something better here after b5 here. I don't know what other difference might there be uh, in, in this position. I mean, sometimes you have moves like this, right? Like move like e6, it might make a dif big difference. I don't know. Could I throw away a move like that? Or? It's, that's just crazy. Uh, I don't know. f6, oh, wow. That's a nice nice defense, but yeah, I mean, white, white should be much better here, right? I think queen g4 maybe. Bishop h6. Well, I don't know, honestly. This is interesting. Yeah, maybe it's not so bad for, for black then. Okay, possibly. Uh, yeah, queen f5, knight g5. Yeah, interesting. All right, let's continue with the game, else we will run out of time. So we were saying here the game went queen e7, right? And e5. So Troy Boy was saying, what about queen e1? Was it here? Yeah, it was here, right? Queen e1 to go to g3. All right, I see what you mean. Um, I'll, of course, ask you what happens if I play queen knight f6. You have one problem here, that you, you cannot put the rook on e1. So if you play queen g3, I thought I could just castle. Is that wrong? Bishop g5, possibly. Yeah, I, I see what you mean. But OK, you, you check the tactics here, right? Yeah, you're taking on c5. Aha. Uh -huh. All right, queen e6, I guess. But okay, it, it's very dangerous for, for black. I, I, I understand completely. It's very, very dangerous. I mean, I, I would like to play knight e7, but I think you go e5 then. So that's why I wanted to play queen e6 here. Oh, queen e6 here. So I don't know. Probably, Troy Boy, this is also promising for white. I, I had a feeling that uh, this is somehow very good for white. Activity. Maybe you can take... Uh, Put your knight on e5, something like that. Yeah, I don't like this for black, so so probably this is also promising for white. But I think it's much simpler what they played in the game. They played here simply e5. Okay, so we had ex uh, ideas explained by by Subham. We want to play knight e6, maybe bishop e5, and so on. Very very difficult for black already this position. They played in the game knight e7 and white. The next move I don't have to ask you, right? You can just send me in the chat. This move uh, is so obvious. Um, there cannot be another move, right? So, should, or should I ask you for this move? 
okay, I can ask you. But you get only 30 seconds because it's so natural. Yeah, Charles Hua, you're right. Uh, I don't trust that variation, Robo, Subhub, and Pikachu. I don't trust that uh, move. Yeah. Remember when you play Gambit style, uh, use your fish, all of them, and a lot of flexibility thinking, right? So most people are saying here, Charles Hua, HD, Quacky, L008, RZ, Mega Charles Rex. Uh, yeah, I agree. So what do you think, uh, Charles? Uh, what would you play here with white? Of course, that's what Morphe would play also. This is simple logic. Bring out the pieces. Uh, maybe we don't have all the variations calculated already, but for sure our bishop would be helpful here. They cannot play f6 because there will be some issue on the e file. Uh, they cannot cast a long anymore. That's also good for us. If you played here, I mean, some people were saying 96. If you play this, please notice that you have one little problem. When you give check on e1, unfortunately, you don't have rook on f1 anymore. So it's the other rook which would like to go to, to e1, right? Why not 97? Um, I don't know. Is that working? What if I take on, let's see here, something will happen here. I mean, I would even consider to take with the queen here. You will have to unpin. It, it won't be that easy, or will it? I don't like this for black. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this looks uh, nasty for, for black. So uh, actually taking with the queen is clever here because this is a key defender for black. The queen, I mean, it's a key, key defender for black. No, I'll, I'll play king f8 here. And you can play, I don't know, knight takes. You threaten to play knight e6, perhaps, is that so? I'll put my queen somewhere, d5 maybe. I'll try to play knight f6. Uh, I, I will suffer in this game, but you can trust me that black will suffer more in, in the game, the way white played. So much better move, of course. Like uh, Charles, who I was saying, bishop d5, of course, bring out the pieces. It's this rook which would like to go to e1, okay? Bishop d5, queen e6. Now the move that everybody was saying. Now we play knight e6 check, okay? Bishop takes, pawn takes, queen takes. So here, what do you think? Which do you think is white's most flexible move? I'll give you only 30 seconds. White's most flexible move, what do you think? The move which keeps most options open and uh, creates new options. Aha, L08, you got it. Interesting move, Aditea. Uh, probably it's also good to, to play like that. I like that move. I understand what you're saying. You want to bring in the, the rook. Yeah, yeah, I understand Aditea, RZ, and Tactical Magician. Good move also, Troy Boy. Yeah, I like that move to bring in the rook. Good thinking. Aha. But even stronger is the move suggested by L008 and Rob, I think. All right, uh, we have a lot of moves here. Uh, many people are saying queen d2, queen d3 to bring in the rook. I like that move, of course. What I don't like so much is rook e1. We talked about this. Probably this is the lesser evil for black. So uh, what did you say here, uh, Robo? What is, what is Robo here? OK, Robo, what's your move? Yeah, I think that's the best move. What happens is that we were saying that this queen is, a, is a, an important defender. So. We're about to play knight f5. Even if queens are traded, uh, black would be in difficulties here. So uh, I guess that's the best move. Not so much for the pawn, but in order to create new opportunities here for, for white pieces. Knight f5 is, is coming in some, some variation. Maybe you can include queen e2 check first, something like that. All right. f6 was played in the game. Black uh, is trying to desperately uh, get rid of that bishop from this diagonal. White played bishop f4. Knight e5 was played in the game. Black is just one move away from castling. So we have two ways to win the game. Um, we're out of, we're a little bit out of time, so let's do this quickly. I'll ask you for the next move, just, uh, yeah, just 30 seconds. You don't have to calculate too much variations here, too many variations. Um, I get the point, L008 and Savam, I get the point. It's okay what you play also, it's okay. But I think what they played in the game is, is simpler. Yeah, Eric, I, I like that move. Aha. Charles Hua also. Yeah, good work. Aditea, excellent. So we have a choice. There are two ways to win this game. Uh, we can do it in, in either way. 
Uh, all right. So you can play. If you like, you can take and you can play knight f5. This will also win the game. It's perfectly fine. Okay. But uh, let's uh, listen to Eric. Okay, Eric, what's your solution? I played knight f5 because, like, um, yeah, um, you can take that. And then if he queen takes, I guess you can take maybe because uh -huh. he can't castle and I have, like, knight d6 and knight sure. d7. And your pieces are just much better. You're right. Your pieces are much better. And it's not like because we swap pieces, we're heading for uh, some drawish ending, right? Because black is unable to bring out their pieces. But sometimes there is this misunderstanding. People think that if we swap queens, uh, the game will, we will lose our attacking potential. But that's not true here. The black queen was actually a good defender. So this is exactly how the game went. Okay, thanks, uh, Eric. So this is how the game went. Black played in the game. G6, it's hard to give them good advice. Knight E7, of course, would just lose the game instantly. You can take and you take here. Yeah, it's easy to see here. Again, the F file. No? The F file is always coming up, this uh, importance of the, of the semi-open F file. Oh, you, there was a mate? Oh, sorry, Troy, you found a mate. Great. All right, I see what you mean. But maybe I can take on F5, though, or that, that doesn't matter. But you know what? Even in this endgame, you're much better. This is good to notice also. Even in this endgame, you would say, okay, rook ending, it's a draw. It's not a draw, of course. Uh, white is going to win this endgame. So, just for the record, now, if anyone was thinking that, we're heading towards a draw. I don't think so. White will win this rather easily. So, that's also a good option. All right. So, in the game, they played uh, g6 instead. White simply played knight check. And after king e7, yeah, this is our last question for today. Last question for today. Which do you think is White's most uh, technical path to, to victory? here? All right. I'll ask you just for one move. So trust your intuition. Trust your intuition. All right. I can see you want to pick up the exchange, right? But the Grandmaster didn't pick up the exchange. Why is that? Why didn't he play like that? Yeah, everybody wants to pick up the exchange, I can see here. Nobody plays the move of, of the Grandmaster. So... What happened? Did he mis-evaluate the position? I don't think so. We'll see. So I think this is the first time in history that uh, almost everybody has the same move. <laughs> yeah. And nobody chose the, the move played in the game. Yeah, I understand. You want to take, you want to play knight f7. Th that's it, right? So we have this position. You take here, take there. You're going to play rookie one, e4. Okay. I understand. Technically winning for white. I, I, I agree. This is technically winning. But what he played in the game, it's even simpler. I mean, here we will still have some some slight difficulties, not much perhaps. Or, or could I play King E6 maybe? Yeah, I don't know why I played E4. King E6 is probably better. But but of course, uh, White should win this with some patience. Uh, but there is a better move. So anyway, what do you think? Lo notice that I cannot develop uh, right now. Yeah, you're right, Pikachu. You should just pick up the pawn. That's what he played in the game. He's playing on the whole board now. Not just on the king side. He's also interested in the queen side. So he has some ideas like knight c5, maybe take, bring in the rook and so on. And what is black supposed to do about that? It's already too late to save black here, unfortunately. And only now, by the way, we, we're speaking gambits today, right? Only now we have material equality established uh, in, the, in the position. So now it's five versus five, I mean the pawns. But you can see for yourself the activity of the white pieces, it's just too much. So black uh, played here the move. They didn't like the looks of knight a5. They played here the, the move a5. And I guess the last move in the game is not difficult. Yeah, you're right, Troy. Boy, that's the threat. So I guess the last move in the game is not difficult. Uh, anyone? You would like to send me white's best move here? Yeah, of course, Pikachu. You're right. Yeah, you can play rook if you want also, but this is even nicer. Because if you look at the activity of the pieces, now the knight is not so useful anymore. But knight c5 is just killing here. It's just killing. Uh, like we were discussing, take, bring in the rook, and so on. These guys don't play in this game. So black resigned at this moment. They never even used the knight on g8. In most games, I think that doesn't happen, does it? Most Some games, you even play knight f6 or move one. And here, this poor knight never moved. Anyway, I looked at some variation here. Rook d8, I thought. But it's easy to win with white here, right? Uh, should I ask you about this one? Yeah, okay. So the, the cleanest way to win here, if you would have to find a clean way to win, how would you do it? 
yeah, that will be the last question for today. Yeah, I guess one minute should be enough for this. So, the cleanest way to finish off the opponents here? What do you think? Yeah, you're, you're very close, L008. But please notice that in your variation, I'm able to bring out my knight. Okay, HD chess, you got it. You don't let me bring out the knight. Nice. Okay. So many good moves here. I'm not saying that, uh, yeah, for example, your move, Troy Boy, it's also a good move. Uh -huh. Yeah, many ways to, you can win the game. I'm, I was just curious which variation you, lo you like the most. If you take on E5 first, I'll take on ED1, Tactical Magician, and uh, uh, RZ. Okay, so HD Chess, Aditya, Savham, Pikachu, Quacky, you all got it. Good work. That's uh, the best way to go here. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh, yeah, but okay, you can also play like Mega Charles Rex and Robo, pick up that pawn. Yeah, a lot of good moves. Uh, Eric and Angel, yeah, good move also. So everything wins, right? Everything wins. Don't feel bad if, uh, if you didn't get it on this one. Okay, HD Chess, what was your idea. Aha, first we take, please notice the pattern, oh, we swap off their active pieces and we leave them with their passive pieces. So no matter what happens here, it's clear that, yeah, black will never be able to survive here. Uh, for starters, they cannot re release these pieces. I, I, I mean, uh, one nice plan would be just like this, right? Just run with the eight pawn. What about king f7? Yeah, I mean, I like this plan. I don't know what, what you guys think about it, but I, I like it. I think it's the cleanest uh, way to, to win the game. Um, but okay, you can of course also pick up the pawn and, and win in that way. Or maybe you can pick, pick up the pawn with a knight. I don't know, knight b3 maybe. There's many ways to win. Okay, but some people were saying here also rook f7. That's another very pretty move. I don't know if I can play knight e7 though. Um, maybe I can still survive, but okay, it's going to be very difficult. If you said, by the way, bishop takes e5 immediately, I'll take on d1. And this is probably not the same thing, but okay, still it's it's very promising. So, yeah, we don't have to speak too much about this. Uh, everybody should, uh, everything should win here. Yeah, probably. So, but I like this this way of, of playing. Simply swap off uh, these two guys and leave them with those two guys. So I think that, that makes a lot of sense. So what I think is important in this game also is to notice that you can actually win an attacking game by going for a favorable endgame. You don't have to give mate necessarily. No? This is also enough to, to win the game. So I guess that's it, uh, guys. I hope you enjoyed this game. I hope you found it uh, interesting. Uh, this uh, very nice game in the Karokan F3 uh, won by Ivich. So if you play this stuff with white pieces, just remember this little idea. You can play here 92. I'm not convinced that it's uh, assuring white an advantage, but I think for sure, it uh, gives great chances for uh, yeah, active play and so on. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Uh, see you next time. All right. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.